Hello my fellow nerds, the Prussian Prince here with Zrip, Discos and Majutu. Hello, hello. Well, this is... I, I, I take the Fifth Amendment, I refuse to reply to that because he said we're nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't say we, he All right. said fellow nerds. So, so he game has with started? He... No. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Uh, very I think quick they like game, game, guys. Oh my god, they love the map. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and whoa, very, whoa, whoa, whoa. very aggressive, uh, fast play from Killerfish. Two bow cavalry. Oh my, one seventy-five range. <laughs> this would be. We can see what this would be. Let, Hang let on, me two bow cavalry. Is his general bow calf also? No, no he doesn't have bow enabled. Uh, uh, let's see. If there's it, no funny it. business <laughs> like last time you brought level nine bow calf. I don't see any other units with uh, special abilities, so I guess it's fine. And look how yeah. Killifish wasted two volleys on this uh, Yari Sam, killed only three, and decided, ah, fuck it. Yes. Don't need to waste, waste anymore. He will destroy this Yari Samurai using his infantry contingent, as you can see. And let's go through the builds really fast. For Killifish, we have Light Cavalry and Naginata attendants on a mm -hmm. hill. Two bow cavalry level 9, melee, uh, full melee gen with Inspire. He has uh, three, uh, Yari, three Yari cavalry, 5, 6 and uh, 2, level 2. Hi. One light cavalry, one Monaginata attendants. Uh, one Monaginata attendants, two Yari samurai and three Nadachis level 2. Both Yari samurai are level 4, that's his build. Actually, reminds me a lot of... Why yeah? I don't get why Killerfish is choosing to stay like on the downhill. Uh, um, is it? Does it matter? It seems he has su what? sufficient. What? Twig needs to be a lot more active because now does both Gav are just getting kills, free kills. Yeah. yeah, but they're not killing very much though. Uh, he does. Oh. It's just annoying. If he wears but, down uh, cavalry, but he needs to move his Yari Cav definitely okay, soon. It would be light. Ch uh, he tries to charge his light cavalry to Katana Samurai. Actually, this build of Killerfish reminds me a lot of, I mean, the infantry corps and cavalry force, except for Bokav, reminds me a lot of what Majutsu use. Like, same uh, mix of Nadachi and Yari Sam, supported by four strong and uh, two weak uh, cavalry units. Mm. Yeah, the level 8 Katana Sams are oh. pretty uh, awesome. Uh, now Twig has this uh, workshop, so now they have 9 armor and 14 defense. Yeah. And it's interesting how he charged this light cavalry of Killifish, but didn't get that many kills in a charge. Very strange. Uh, did he charge the light cavalry or did he charge another unit? No, no, he oh, charged light, light cavalry. Look at the Ari Fish, he's losing too many men. Oh, and oh, look at this, oh, Twig pulling pull through. through to get this bow cavalry. Makes sense. But he didn't kill anything. Oh, wait. Oh, it's no, not it him. Was Killifish was disengaging. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. It, it looked weird. Absolutely. And now Fish is counter charging with the melee gen. Oh, that's pretty Ooh. good, but... Insane. Melee gen loses nothing. Basically killing this Yari cavalry. <laughs> no, it's lost too. Well, yeah, yeah but, but in a charge really it was... Relevant. And yeah. look how Boki start wrecking kills on this Katana Samurai. Well, not tricking, but still, 10 men in this level 8 Katana Samurai, it's a lot. And for Twig, we didn't cast his build, but it's... Uh, well, we will see on last uh, screen. But it's basically Katana Samurai core. For Katana Samurai level 8, man, this is sick investment. Why is Twig not putting any pressure on those Bokav? Like if anything, he just should charge or faint charge the Bokav so they won't be able to get volleys. Yeah, and if if Twig didn't g go for such uh, exchanges all the time, I would say he can just wait for light for this bow cavalry to get out of armor. There is no archery dodge on the map. Uh, Our mm. But we will see how it goes. I, I, I'm not. Uh, I can't really tell. Uh, who have an advantage here? I would say Killerfish. Oh, uh, Twig should need to. Oh no, why isn't he targeting the general? Oh, matchlocks. Yeah, he could kill the general with the matchlocks. But he's just. Uh, it's on fire at will. He could have uh, sniped the general. He uh, got a good amount, but still. And now Killerfish disengaging his gen. I think Killerfish risks his gen much more than he should. 
<laughs> like this was unnecessary charge. Oh, and Twigs, um, Katana, I'm sorry, got back charged by Light Cav. Yeah. yeah. Well, and by Yard Cav. Interestingly enough, Katana Samurai do decently against Cavalry, which... Uh, well, these Cat Sams do, considering they have such high defense and armor. Yeah, and attack, uh, 20 attack is actually pretty good against... What are these Cavalry. Naginata attendants here Fine. doing? Oh, okay. You know, like, Killerfish, he's not actually oh, doing... Oh, Twix's any... gen is getting charged. Oh, yeah, that's big. Yeah, and in the long run, men. Killerfish would... And only now Twig gets his second match like near, and it gets oh, right into the using his man very fast. Yeah. And the ball cast starts shooting at him. Yep. But uh, look, now his uh, cab coming in from the back, a Yari cab into the gen of killer fish. Ooh. Ouch! That hurt. Yeah, like yeah. this seems un unconvincing. Like, Twig will have, may have, may win. Oh no. Now that his katana wavering, he will lose infantry fight. Yeah. That was his chance, I think, but... Uh, oh, yeah. he actually used stand and fight. Uh, oh, and look, Killifish General leaves! <laughs> Still nine men left. Man, he's lucky. Uh, my, my general never leaves to this point. He dies at 15. Oh, man. What are the match locks of Twig doing? Well, that's oh. pretty much over. He doesn't uh, give any attack orders with his match locks, it seems. Oh, Twig's general no, he did, he stand did. and fight. Against the Minata Tendons, it should win. Yeah. Well, well, if he gets gen the dies. gen of, kif of fish, like... No, yeah. still we're a not chance. Gonna see, but but no. oh, problem is the bow cav, though. Problem is yeah. the bow cav. Bow cav yeah. to pretty... Uh, it was strong, no Dutch is still is not really depleted. Twig sacrificing the like the Yuri curve there. I miss micro, he should have pulled back obviously. But it would die anyway uh, for bow cavalry later. So at True. this point it oh, the the match match Sam. samurai. Yeah. yeah, getting caught. But I wonder if it matters that much now. How much I think this bow cavalry completely capable of killing two remaining matchlocks and general. Yep. Unless he miss micros or something. <laughs> Let's see. Well, actually, he have pretty bad angle. In one volley, he kills around uh, four men. In both cal in both both cal yeah, he have very bad angle of shooting actually. Light calves gonna route. Still, there he has nothing to to take out those bow calf. Uh, yep. At least he has workshop. Though, oh, look at this! He wasted the points into uh, that circle. Well, I wouldn't say wasted. It's level nine, so it's uh, uh, not plan upgrade. I would still upgrade. get something else. Maybe, but now that I think about it, 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 it really over because not only even when uh, this bow cavalry have no more ammunition left, he can simply charge. Well, he should just run back and waste his ammo. <laughs> Those formation killer fish play optimally. Where is it? Ah, uh, risking a bit. Time. <laughs> yeah, two no Dutchies with Banzai still, so they can just Banzai. Yeah, but he's risking like this. So. Slightly. I mean, he he's he's oh. still gonna win, but... Oh, where the Banzai Like, if he wouldn't use Banzai and they would just route, <laughs> that would be epic. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Close game. <laughs> yeah. Good fight, though. Yeah. GG. Yep, GG, and well, now I know who I would be playing, and it is scary. Ah, uh, Zerif <laughs> against Killerfish. <laughs> oh. Man, I don't know what this uh, circles, they look like boobs <laughs> from far away, but well. <laughs> oh, Zerif, what else could you have thought of? Uh, I guess, I guess. What else? <laughs> it looked like the the Mastercard logo. Oh, well, it was that overlapping too. like that. <laughs> you see someone from a business school. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> money, money, money. Okay, so we have final stats to look and well, Killerfish advances in a third round. Uh, and this time, look how this time they got. So, how Killerfish got 
such a strange amount. 71. Did he brought one unit? Uh, uh melee gen. Steel? Ah, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. it can be. And then attendants, the attendants have yeah, 75, yeah, yeah. melee gen 36, so then you get the one. 5 and 6 gives one, I guess. 11 actually. Yeah, yeah but and one of them. And I thought calculus or whatever. <laughs> Can't even calculate. <laughs> Okay, so for Kilo he's got he's got like a thousand four eight six running in the background doing all the calculations for him. <laughs> <laughs> six plus five. What is pi? Come back in one year, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, any oh yeah, I, I promise to show people tweaks army exact. Uh, so for Yari cavalry, two of them level six, uh, two of them level two. Yari Sam. For Naginata attendants, too much like Sam. Uh, not sure, not sure about it. I personally, I always try to instead of too much like Sam, I would, uh, I want to take uh, much like War Monks and uh, much like Ash, same price, too. but kind of gives you more options. Uh, light Me cavalry, too. four strong katana cavalry, and for killer fish, let's see, and like this bow cavalry. I'm not even sure they paid for themselves in terms of kills, but they forced uh, Tweak to do, well, stupid stuff. He was, uh, well, he felt uh, that he had to rush. They did kill a lot of katana level nine or level eight. Level eight, yeah. So it, it's worth yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And considering he still had them at the end, they could have gotten more kills. So. Yup, uh, that's uh, the most important part. And look at this uh, force unit by kills. Naginata attendance, 91 kill. <laughs> Beating Nadachi with 81 kill. Well, anyway. That, that Naga attendant was the one that was charging the matchlock uh, yeah, from yeah. the back, I think. Yeah. Well, it was pretty cool match. Uh, I think Twig will well, take it uh, as a good lesson. I think he has something to improve. He's, like, he's playing play seems solid but he just lacks a little bit against uh, uh, such a builds are like killer fish uh, a bit kiting or a bit defensive just slightly his, like, his micro could have been a bit faster but it might have been the nurse yeah. like fighting killer fish it's understandable yeah and it, when I think about it in all three games killer fish brought three different play styles defensive basically spirit box Super aggressive with ninjas and cavalry, and now kiting with bow cavalry. It's like <laughs> in three yes. games, his roster. I, I, I'm not sure anyone have such a wide roster of play styles. Uh, honestly, mm, yeah, pretty cool. Well, thank you guys for watching, and see you later. See you later. See you later.